Everything we do is forward. Life is forward. Business is forward. We can never stop forward momentum in life. Now take forward and accelerate it to 1500 kilometers per hour. Fighter pilots operate moving forward like no one else. So when you're moving at that speed, you learn that you need to optimize every fiber of your being, everything there is about being a human. Because at the edge of the physical and mental envelope, that's where growth happens. We always believe we can't do things, but we can. I had to memorize 427 individual checklist items to start the aeroplane, taxi it out, take it off, get to the area, turn the weapons on, fight the jet, turn the weapons off, come back into the area, land, land through cloud. From one to 427, couldn't miss one. Can do. What I want you to do is completely reset what you think you're capable of. Because what you are capable of, if you apply a slightly different mindset, is really quite amazing. What we've learned as fighter pilots is that intrinsic motivation, the ability to motivate ourselves, sits within all of us. It's just untapped. Who is exceptional in what he does and how he delivers, he's able to take the words and articulate them to multiple industries that resonate and make sense, which is a skill set in itself. We've learned in business that often it's really hard to align large groups of people and to inspire people to stay motivated day by day, week by week, month by month. In an organisation with all of this latent capability, we have to learn how to unlock that potential. No one's ever created a program or a course on getting things done. And in this very small world of the fighter pilot, where so few people are trained to this level, we understand the concept of winning small every single day to ensure that we win big every year. Getting to watch Boo is quite extraordinary because he's bringing in this whole world of information that you would never have access to and apply it into your business. When we make decisions at pace, we know that some of those decisions aren't going to be great, but we can reverse them. And we learn how to make better decisions through a very structured process that we call debriefing. Debriefing was transformational for the world of fighter pilots. It improved our performance over 400%. It's the ability to say to ourselves, what are we trying to achieve here? What's happening now? Why are we not where we want to be? But most importantly, what are we going to do tomorrow? What action am I going to take? How do I take this bad feeling, this sense of failure, but turn it around? And the minute you debrief and create that little bit of hope, that single task that you can do tomorrow, guess what? You feel great. You take a loss and turn it into a win. The way he delivers, he's got so much history, the stories that he can tell, Everything he's been through, he really puts that on stage and really shares that experience with us. It's incredibly fulfilling to see people lift up, to empower them to take control of their lives and their outcomes. Working with some of the world's biggest companies, I've really been able to see the cut through the fighter pilot mindset has inside any organization. The potential to raise your team's capability is there to remove artificial harmony from the workplace and create true harmony, true alignment. The ability to work together as a team in a completely open and honest fashion. No more excuses. A mindset and a philosophy that's always focused forward. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to be a fighter pilot to think like a fighter pilot.